lots and lots of dolphins around here. top of the mast, doing some repairs, so I thought the VHF antenna was coming loose, but it turns out it's the pop rivets that are loose, it's not the screw, so there's nothing I can really do. I'm going to go back down. Uh, we had a really great afternoon. Seven knots, uh, seven knots of boat speed, about ten or eleven knots of uh, wind, with the Jenica up from uh, from the Chaussée de Seine to the uh, Wisson uh, traffic separation scheme. Um, and then after I rounded that, I turned north, and uh, the wind has gone light, and the, uh, the forecast seems to be pretty light for the next 24, 48 hours. I was really hoping to get uh, across the channel to land here by tomorrow morning. Uh, at one time, it was forecast that uh, the GPS was saying I would get there about um, 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, but now it's saying more like 11, 12 o'clock uh, tomorrow. So, not so good. Uh, end in the distance. Um, uh, what day is it? Thursday, uh, the 24th of June. Uh, it's about 8.30 p.m. Just getting close to Land's End. So probably got another hour. Uh, so it should still be daylight uh, when I get there. I'm about 16 hours behind where I'd hoped to be, but it was really, really light during the during the night and most of today, but it's picked up a bit, and uh, I've just spoken with uh, Keith Willis, and he says uh, it's going to be a bit light again tomorrow, but uh, not as light as today, so hopefully I'll, I'll get up to uh, Conning Bay by sometime tomorrow. He says afternoon, but I think it's going to be more like uh, uh, late in the evening or, or midnight. That's it for now. I'm going to uh, throw in a couple more tacks get around Land's End, and then reward myself with uh, some dinner, and hopefully, if there are no ships around, a little bit of sleep. Uh, I'm in the Celtic Sea, it's still about 100 miles from Conningbeg, with another really slow uh, 24 hours. Uh, as I say, I'm still 100 miles from Conningbeg, but I've got the dolphins with me again. Saturday morning, uh, about 6.45 uh, in the morning, I'm still approaching Conning Bay, uh, heading north at uh, 7 knots, still about 14 miles to go, so I've got a couple of hours, but at least there's wind now, uh, the wind has been building during the night. Now up to, I saw 17 knots at one point, now it's down to 14 again, but uh, at least there's wind, boats moving, uh, it's encouraging. I'm still thinking now, uh, probably not finishing before Friday morning, Friday evening, but uh, if, the wind, uh, if the wind picks up and, uh, and I get some good angles, I could finish a bit earlier. It is Tuesday, the 29th of June, uh, 12.30. Uh, and I'll just uh, show on the chart now where I am and where I have to go. So at uh, 
I hope this shows up. This is uh, Lorient here, Ile de Goa, the Ile de Glenon. I was here at 10.35 this morning. I'm probably somewhere down here now. And I have to go down to the Plateau de Rochebon, Rochebon, then Ile de Rey, back up to the point of Penmar, and then Lorient. Uh, currently, uh, the GPS is saying that it might take me anywhere from um, uh, 30 to 45 hours to get from where I am to Rushbon. I don't think it's going to take that long. Uh, it's going to take more than 30, I think. Uh, but I don't think it's going to take 45. So, time for another update. It is Tuesday afternoon, uh, 6.30 getting towards Tuesday evening. Uh, wind is nice now, it's picked up, it's about 12 knots. I'm still not pointing towards the mark, I've still got to do a couple of jibes to get down there, but uh, at least I'm moving fast, around 6 knots. Uh, if this holds, and I'm sure it won't hold exactly like this, something's going to change, but if it holds, uh, I'll be rounding uh, the Rochebon Plateau tomorrow, Early afternoon, Ile de Rey, Wednesday night, midnight, and then start heading north. Well, I hope you can see those numbers. Um, a lot changed during the night. Uh, wind, well, not a lot changed, a bit changed. Wind built up to 18 knots. Uh, I had to jibe a couple of times, which is the first time I think I've jibed alone in, in 18 knots of wind. Uh, so that was, that was okay, unfortunately. Um, I then got a wind shift, which meant I couldn't point towards the mark. But the wind is shifting back, and now I think I'm able to make it, so things are looking good. Still looking like I'll arrive uh, at uh, Rochebon at about 10 in the morning and uh, that'll give me, uh, I guess, another um, then seven hours to get uh, to Ile de Rey. So that'll be in good daylight. And then head north. So things are looking good. I still don't think I'll be back in um, uh, in Lorient by Friday morning, which is a bit disappointing because uh, I really wanted to do that. But uh, uh, it feels good to for the boat to be moving. It feels really good. Following this trip, we'll see that it's been a long trip. Canada Day. Uh, it's about 7.30. Uh, this should be my last full night at sea. Uh, hopefully it'll be my last night at sea at all. With any luck I'll be in Lorient by tomorrow night. Although it might be a little bit late. It might be 11 at midnight. We'll see. Anyway, uh, as I say, my last full night at sea. So I'm going to get dressed, have some dinner, uh, get the boat set up for the evening and hopefully get a little bit more wind. Uh, there's Krista over there. Probably can't see her with this camera. I don't. Uh, but uh, we've been sailing together more or less since uh, uh, 9 or 10 this morning because um, we're going to the same place. 
so uh, I imagine I'll see her lights all night. Um, and it's kind of nice just to have another boat nearby after so many days when uh, some days I didn't see anything for hours. Uh, and what I did see was, um, you know, big ships that would pass in 30 minutes. So it's kind of nice just to know that there's someone nearby. Uh, uh, I'm sure we won't talk or anything, but, uh, um, you know, we'll both be busy with the boats and trying to get some sleep, but uh, it's kind of nice just to know that there's someone nearby. It makes you feel like you're not alone on a disc of sea. All right, that's it for now, and uh, I'm sure I'll do another diary tomorrow and let you know how my progress is. Hopefully this is a bit better. It was a um, sporty night. The wind came up uh, more than forecast, um, and it looked like it was coming in earlier. Uh, so in order to avoid getting um, headed so that I couldn't make the mark, I went a bit more upwind than I really needed to, which was uh, uh, less comfortable than I would have liked, uh, because I had the wrong sail up again. I, didn't, I really didn't want to change it. Uh, but it was okay for the angles I was doing. Uh, if I'd really had to go upwind, it would have been the wrong sail, and I would have had to change it. But uh, uh, So it was a good call to, to head up a little bit so that I didn't have to change it if we did get headed. Uh, I've now uh, eased off, and we're heading towards the mark. It's 11 miles away. Uh, I'm doing 7.5 knots over the ground, 8 knots. Uh, so I should be there in about an hour and a half. Uh, and things are looking good for uh, getting into uh, Lorient uh, later this afternoon. de Glenon, the last mark before uh, turning to Lorient. It's not a mark of the qualification course, but it's a mark of the, uh, well, it's uh, a mark that I'm rounding before I turn to Lorient. And from here, it's straight to Lorient, five or six hours, then I should be back. Can't wait.